Hey there, so in this video, I am going to show you the most crucial step when it comes to saving your SVG properly to use with your cutting machine. So as an example, I have this cute little stay cool design that I just quickly put together. And a lot of people make the mistake that they make a design like this and then they just come to file and save. And the great thing about Inkscape is it does um, default to a .svg file, which is definitely what you want when you're using a cutting machine. But you'll see that if I go ahead and name this and put it on my desktop and save it, that when you go ahead and upload to your cutting software, and I'm just going to use Design Space as an example, and we'll go ahead and try to upload that file that we just created. And when you, we do, you'll see that we got this error code here that it contains text and it's not supported. And even when you hit continue, the text is missing. So let's go ahead and hit cancel and come back into Inkscape. And we'll walk through this very crucial step. So what you need to make sure to do is you need to convert everything to a path before you go ahead and save and upload. So to do that, to make sure that you do it properly, the best way is to go ahead and select everything within your design and make sure it's totally ungrouped using this little button right here. So you can go ahead and hit that three or four times to make sure everything's totally ungrouped. And then you come up to path, object to path and that will convert both shapes and text to a path. And basically that tells the machine how to cut the object. So it tells the little path that the machine is gonna follow along when it cuts it. So now everything's been converted to a path and we can go ahead and save. Um, and it should go ahead and upload fine as is like this. Um, but I also wanted to walk you through one additional step that I usually do with text. So right now, all of the letters are just grouped together, but they are separated. So if you select your text here, you'll see that if you go ahead and ungroup it using that button again, all the letters are on their own. So what I like to do is to go ahead and select around each of the words that I know I want to permanently keep together and come up to path and union, which is the equivalent of weld. And I'm just gonna do that same thing with the cool. So now we'll go ahead and come to file, save, and let's try to upload it again. So we'll come to upload and search for that design and hit open. And now you can see that all of the components are there and it's good to go. And when we hit save and insert it into our project, you'll see that all of the components are um, layered separately. So you can go ahead and have multicolored designs and it's so much easier than trying to upload a JPEG um, because now I can go ahead and ungroup and I can still move around the individual pieces or change the colors of them. So that's why I just love um, designing within Inkscape and it just makes it super easy to save as an SVG and upload to your cutting software. So just to summarize again, you always wanna make sure that you select your entire design, ungroup it completely, and then do that path object to path. And then if you have text within your design, to go ahead and simplify it, it's always a good idea to ungroup the individual words, again with that button there. And then you can select each of the letters just by dragging a box around them all and coming to path union to weld them together. So hopefully that saves you a lot of headaches um, and solves that problem if you've ever gotten it when you get that error code um, to upload to your cutting software. Now, if you are interested in more Inkscape tricks, 
um, and you want to learn all the techniques on how to properly create SVGs, then go ahead and watch our webinar where you'll learn all about our Inkscape training um, at svgandme.com webinar. You can sign up and we'll see you next time.